named after Jonas Salk, who in 1955 discovered the polio vaccine. Um, shortly thereafter, he was given $20 million by the March of Dimes to um, sort of start his research institute. Um, he didn't know quite where to uh, build this institute at first, so he, 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 he looked at a couple of locations all over the country, um, Northern California for one, and then eventually he came here in San Diego and settled on San Diego. Um, at the time, um, this is an area of San Diego called Willow, that's called La Jolla. Um, at the time, there was nothing here. Um, and if you know anything about La Jolla now, it's multi-million dollar homes up along the coast. This is prime real estate yeah. in, in La Jolla. Uh, but in 1960, there was absolutely nothing here. It was all natural uh, habitat. And the city of San Diego was subdividing all this property behind us with the UCSD campus. So not even the, the UCSD wasn't, wasn't even here no. um, in 1960. So the mayor of San Diego offered Louis Kahn 26 acres of property right out here. It's basically, from that street, the width of the property here, and it stretches all the way down to the of the ocean, 26 acres. Um, it probably wasn't a coincidence either that the mayor of San Diego at the time was a polio survivor. So um, so he had great interest uh, in, in, in bringing uh, Louis, uh, Jonas Salk here to, so he could start his uh, institution. Um, and, and another thing to mention is that you know, this whole area has sort of become more sort of like a medical research district, sort of like the Silicon Valley medical research. There have a lot of medical research facilities down there. The Salk Institute was the first um, building, the first um, establishment that was placed in here. So it was basically the seed of this whole district here in medical research. So.